Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. Today we're looking at Solomon's Stables. Now this is in Megiddo. If you remember in 1 Kings 4.26, it said that Solomon had room for 40,000 chariots. If I remember, stalls for 40,000 chariots here. And they have discovered this. Now there's a place in Jerusalem called Solomon's Stables that, that is not necessarily the same place. But this is in Megiddo, which we would know as Armageddon, the place of Armageddon. I've been here and so it's just kind of fascinating. Now there is some dispute now on whether this is in fact uh, Solomon's stables or did it come just a little bit later. Um, I'll show you a couple more pictures from the northern area of Solomon's stables and then we'll show you the whole range of what Napoleon said the world's greatest natural battlefield. So now they're saying maybe these stables came more from the time of Jeroboam, the last Jeroboam, not the first Jeroboam, or Hezekiah's time. And they have kind of proved conclusively whenever it was, this area was for chariots. It was for the training of chariots. Uh, the, it fits Nubian horses just perfectly, the stalls do, and they say it's not natural for them to run in, in chariots. They kind of want to look at each other and stuff, so they have to be trained. But there is some evidence that it is, in fact, Solomon's stables. So Solomon's stables were either here or somewhere else, but we do know that these things were in... Uh, the Holy Land, very close to Solomon's time. Here's another view, one of a manger and one of a rock that came from Solomon's time. So again, you know, the scripture is just 100% true. And biblical archaeology, for those of you out there that may be unbelievers or skeptics, you need to dive into the field of biblical archaeology. There's been like Adams or Tall atheists that have been converted by looking at it. And, uh, you know, and the philosophers, there's people that have been converted by looking at the evidences of philosophy as well. So that's kind of neat. Um, here's what the... I'm thinking of uh, that book, The World's Most Tor Notorious Atheist Becomes a Theist or something. There is a God. I can't remember his name right now. Here is what Armageddon looked like, the, what it looks like today. And we know there's going to be a great battle there in uh, Genesis, excuse me, Revelation 16. So that's kind of fascinating. So Solomon's stables, they're finding stables fit the bill of Solomon's stables. There's some debate. It's either from 1000 BC on up to 7800 BC, kind of around the same time periods. So uh, the Bible, once again, is proven true. And it's true. It will change your life. It will cleanse you. It will save you. And uh, so many awesome things. Just believe the Word of God. This world needs a ground of certainty. We've got it in the Scriptures. God bless you today in Jesus' name.